Hi everyone, Donut here, and today we're going to talk about NFL player Michael Bennett. Michael plays for the Seahawks, has a net worth of $17 million, and made some very false accusations about the Las Vegas Police Department. This whole incident that you've probably seen on the news already started the night of the Mayweather and McGregor fight. Reports of the incident didn't really gain any traction or popularity though until Michael Bennett released a formal statement on his Twitter account on September the 6th. We're not going to go over the whole thing, I'll post the link in the comments below so that everyone can go read it themselves if they'd like to see it in its entirety, but we're just going to go over some of the points that have to do with the Las Vegas Police Department. On Saturday, August 26, I was in Las Vegas to attend the Mayweather-McGregor fight on my day off. After the fight while heading back to my hotel, several hundred people heard what sounded like gunshots. Like many of the people in the area, I ran away from the sound looking for safety. Las Vegas police officers singled me out and pointed their guns at me for doing nothing more than simply being a black man in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's got to be true though, right? A professional athlete is saying it and everyone knows that police only single people out for being black. Moving on to the next paragraph, a police officer ordered me to get to the ground. As I lay on the ground complying with his commands not to move, he placed his gun near my head and warned me that if I moved he would blow my f head off. Terrified and confused by what was taking place, a second officer came over and forcefully jammed his knee into my back, making it difficult for me to breathe. They then cinched the handcuffs on my wrist so tight that my fingers went numb. The officer's excessive use of force was unbearable. All I could think of was I'm going to die for no other reason than I am black and my skin color is somehow a threat. As I said, I'm going to post the link to the tweet and the original statement in the comments below, but the rest of it is about how police officers let him go after they realized he wasn't just a regular black guy. It mentions how the system failed him. He mentions Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Charlena Lyles. And it also mentions that he has retained an Oakland civil rights attorney to investigate and explore all of his legal options, including filing a civil rights lawsuit against the Las Vegas Police Department. The thing is, though, that the Las Vegas Police Department didn't even know that Michael Bennett had a problem with anything that had happened. The LVMPD learned of Mr. Bennett's allegations just this morning. No formal complaints were made, no formal statements were taken, and he was released after a few minutes of them realizing it wasn't an active shooter situation, which is what we're about to get into. Bennett was placed into handcuffs and detained while officers determined whether or not he was involved in the original incident. He was detained for approximately 10 minutes and released. Mr. Bennett at the scene had the incident explained to him by a supervisor and he said that he understood and that he had no problem with what the officers did, just the one that he claimed the officer had pointed a gun at his head. For those of you who don't know what an active shooter is, let's turn to the Department of Homeland Security's website to give us the definition. An active shooter is an individual actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a confined and populated area. In most cases, active shooters use firearms and there is no pattern or method to their selection of victim. So an active shooter is a person that walks into a crowded area with a gun and starts shooting people. Columbine, Sandy Hook, Aurora, Texas, movie theater shooting, Charleston church shooting. It's a situation where a few police officers have to comb through dozens to a hundred to a thousand different people to try and find which one of those people it is killing everyone else. So when it's absolute pandemonium, madness, screaming, people running all over the place, trampling each other, the police have to run the direction of the shooter while everyone else is running away to try and save everyone. The night of the Mayweather-McGregor fight, some things were knocked over, it sounded like gunshots, people panicked, and then word spread that there was an active shooter. The Las Vegas Police Department that night were responding to an active shooter situation. They went there with the thought in their heads, there's somebody in here with a gun actively killing innocent people. But that still leaves the problem of why was Michael Bennett singled out that night for being a black male. Obviously, police singled him out just because he was a black guy. His statement said it. He's a professional athlete. He must be right. We're going to take a look at some video footage that isn't being shared very much by many news outlets that the undersheriff of the Las Vegas Police Department released. The video shows the body camera of one of the officers who went into the casino that night that they thought there was an active shooter. Remember, though, the big problem here is that Michael Bennett was singled out for being a black male. This is where they begin to enter the casino, searching for the active shooter. See all the patrons fleeing at the direction of the officers.
Ven, ven, ven. Everyone else is putting their hands up, laying on the ground. They get close to Michael. He takes off running and jumps over a barrier into traffic. The officers saw that as a little bit suspicious, so they gave chase. They handcuffed him. They didn't use any amount of force on him. He was compliant. The officer did have his gun out, but this was still, remember, an active shooter situation. They detained him for a little bit. They realized it wasn't an active shooter situation. They explained to him why they had detained him, let him go, and everything was fine until, come to find out, he had this huge statement about how they singled him out just for being a black guy. It's obvious from the video footage, though, that they singled him out because he was a black guy. Michael's statement is 100% false, and I believe that he owes an apology to the Las Vegas Police Department. Everyone, this is Donut. Please have a fantastic night.